everyone, I'm Rihanna from A Frugal Life and today we're going to be talking about paying off your debts. So in my past video I talked about financial goals and one of the biggest financial goals people have, whether short term or long term, is paying off debts. Maybe you just want to pay off one debt for now like a car payment or maybe you're looking at a big plan to pay off all of your debts by retirement. Either way, I'm going to give you 11 practical tips to get you started. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them down below and so that you don't miss any of my future videos, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And let's get started with our tips. So your first tip is going to be figure out what you owe. When you owe a lot of money, you sometimes get scared to find out who you owe to and how much you owe, and then you just dig yourself a deeper and deeper hole. I'm gonna give you the number one most important thing you need to do, and that is to figure out what you owe and to whom. So just take a deep breath, get real brave, and gather up all of that information. You're gonna write it all down, whether in your financial notebook or online, and you're gonna keep it in some place that you can refer to so that you know what you're paying off. So first, make a list of all your creditors, make a list of how much you owe to each one of them, what the minimum balance is, how much you're allowed to pay off early, when everything is due each month, and just write it all down. So there's two ways you can rank your debts. So after you write them all down, I'm gonna give you two ways. Number two on our list is to rank them by size. So you could prioritize them by paying off the biggest debt first and the smallest one last. The second way, and this is number three on our list, is to rate them by interest rate. So forget about the size, rank them by the highest interest rate to the lowest interest rate. And a little bonus, the third way is to rank them by size the other direction. So you could rank them by the smallest one to the lowest one. And a little bonus, the third way is to rank them by size the other direction. So you could rank them by the smallest one to the lowest one. There's really three different ways to pay things off and there's thousands of financial experts that will give you your different ways to do it. You could pay off the things with the biggest interest rate first so you're not paying out a big amount total in the end. Or you can pay off the biggest ones to the smallest ones. I don't recommend that one, it's harder and it takes a really long time, but sometimes people like to get rid of those big things hanging over their heads and then worry about the little things later. Just, so these next ones are just some basic budget tips I'll go through real quick, but this is how you're gonna get your money to pay off those debts. So number four on our list is know how much you're spending. So make sure that in addition to writing down all of your debts, you also write down all of the things you pay out each month. So you should know all of your bills as well as how much you pay in groceries and everything like that. Take 30 days, get a notebook, write down every single thing you spend money on. On. This will help you know where to cut. Watch my video on the TAC method which to help you cut down on things like bills and groceries or watch my frugal living playlist. I will put a link up above to the TAC method if you need some help, but most importantly, at least write down everything you're spending. Number five, of course, I don't have to tell you this is a frugal living channel, but live below your means. If you are paying off debt, you shouldn't be purchasing high dollar things like jewelry and vacations. You should be paying off your debt first, living below the amount that you can have, actually have to live on and putting that amount towards debt. Once you pay off debt, of course, you can splurge on those things like vacations and jewelry and big car purchases. So first of all, while you're paying off debt, live below your means. So if you have multiple debts, maybe the only thing you can afford is minimum payments. That's okay. At least scrimp and save and cut back until you can make all of your minimum payments and you're not falling behind. Then once you're making your minimum payments, you can put extra money towards paying off those bills. Next, we're going to talk about something that you can do that's going to make your life a little bit easier, and that is to automate automate minimum payments. So if you already know that you have the amount for a minimum payment, you should definitely automate it with your bank account. Make sure that you don't spend that money on something else, but that's going to make sure that your payments are paid on time. Then if you want to make extra payments, you can pay those off of the automation cycle. So definitely automate your minimum payments to make sure that you don't fall behind and you don't rack up late charges. Next, we're going to talk about something that's similar to live below your means, which is to reduce your monthly expenses. So if you follow that tack method, I talked about earlier, you can actually reduce your monthly expenses that are normal, like the cable bill, the phone bill, all sorts of other different utilities and fixed bills so that you can put that money towards paying off debt. Then I'm going to reiterate one more time is spend less money than you need to. So don't spend money on things you don't need to spend money on right now. Movie tickets, restaurant visits, things like that. I want you to make a conscious effort not to purchase those things right now while you're paying off debt. And the greatest way to do it is to say, I wanted to purchase pizza today and then think about it and decide not to purchase the pizza, but to put that $30 you were going to spend towards pizza towards a debt. If you continue to do that, you will definitely slash that debt 
faster and faster. The more things you give up, the more exciting it is going to be to pay down the debt. I know it doesn't sound exciting right now, but when you think about it, $30 or $60 for a restaurant visit towards the additional on top of the minimum payment on a debt can really reduce your interest and the amount you're paying in the long run. Next, we're gonna talk about windfalls, things like great big inheritances, when you sell a car or something else on marketplace, when you go through your garage and have a garage sale, you're gonna put all those big chunks of money towards your debt. Huge chunks towards debt can make a huge difference and it actually will make your paying off go faster and faster like a roller coaster downhill. It is so exciting when you start making big payments for things like the car payment. I used to get a bonus every year from a company that I was working for that was profit sharing and it would be $3,000 to $5,000 at a time. I would put that money towards whatever car or big debt I had at the time and then I ended up paying off three big debts in several years, two to three years earlier than I would have by putting those big windfalls towards them. A last but not least is side hustles are your friend. If you cannot find any money or enough money to put towards paying off your debt, side hustles are going to be the way that you're going to do it. I do pet sitting and babysitting, but there are so many different things you can do online to make a little bit extra money and every little bit counts towards paying off that debt. I know I've been talking about cards a lot today, but I do have a card up above with some great side hustles you can do from home in this pandemic time period when you can't do anything else. Do as many side hustles as you can fit in. Do side hustles with your husband. Do side hustles with your children. Make a little bit extra money every single week to put towards paying down that debt. So this has been 11 practical tips to paying off your debt. If you like this video, again, subscribe and comment down below and I will talk to you soon.